Welcome. I'm Gwen Awesome. Thank you so much for tuning in to episode one. My life is pretty awesome right now. I just got married a few weeks ago and I actually became Gwen Awesome. I, Gwen Elliott, girl, you took me far, but we're now stepping into an awesome life. And so, you know, when I was thinking of naming this podcast, I had all these different names, but when somebody hands you the last name, awesome, it's, that's what you must do. Embrace the name. Um, so I just decided to go with it. And I'm somebody who has made podcasts over the years at different times and have changed the name. And I feel like, well, if my name's on it, I don't think it's going to change now. Knocks on wood. <laughs> but this is just the way uh, the way it's going with the name. So a few things going on in life right now. Number one, I am about six months pregnant right now, which is a real trip. You know, you're going about your day and all of a sudden you just feel the fluttering, the punching. You're like, there's literally a tiny human within me. So that's kind of awesome slash wild. And also right now I am running my business full time. I make online courses for authors and experts, and I've recently pivoted into creating and selling my own courses to teach people more like teach people how to fish versus fish for them. I'm making that transition in life and it's been, I'm going to overuse the word awesome. So I'm going to start saying it's amazing. Um, and it's feeling so good to be transitioning. So I'm in the early days of that, but it's been a beautiful unfolding. So really, you know, your girl's booked, she's busy, <laughs> she's out there. Actually, like the dream is not to be booked and busy. The dream is to have space and relaxation and creativity and time to focus on growing my own educational endeavors. Um, after many years, I've been in the online course world for about 10 years, made my first course in 2012 and was part-time with it for many years, just making courses, you know, as people learned, I did it. They're like, Oh, you produce courses. Okay. Well, let me hire you for that. And then the path really accelerated in 2017 when I was hired at a big e-commerce entrepreneurship company and really accelerated from making four or five courses to now 80. Cause I also then turned, uh, made a business on the side while running, uh, while working full time and turning that into a big agency and then scaling back to being a solopreneur. That's a whole lesson I'm sure for an, or a whole episode for another day, but right now just life is awesome. And it was absolutely not like this a year ago. And so I thought it'd be really fun to start the podcast with just sharing some of the pillars that really helped me lead this kind of life of actually enjoying being a human, being alive, despite that there's so much happening in the world that can instantly <laughs> tell you that you shouldn't be happy. The girl's doing pretty good. So I'm taking stock of it and teaching you how I got here. So let me just say, well, actually a year ago, where I was, was essentially feeling very stuck in my career, in my job, both with the business I was running and my full-time job. I felt like I'd hit that upper limit where I was like, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. And also in my relationship, we'd been together a year ago for five years and things are just going along, but I'm like, children, marriage, anything? Like I wasn't that kind of gal that's like, I need to get married and I need to have kids, but I'm so glad it happened and how that, how that's been unfolding. Um, but I was just feeling kind of stuck down the dumps, January blues. And I kind of inched my way out of it until I started to really start seeing the unfolding a few months ago of like, well, things are getting good and it's happening fast. And now it continues to be good. So let me define how I would say what awesome even means to me. So nowadays in life, feeling good is the North star. True success is joy is actually enjoying life. 
in my 20s, success was hitting a certain level of making money or business success or running a marathon or meeting a man or eating healthy, losing weight, you know, typical gal things. Uh, but that has really shifted for me. And now I know that the more joy you feel every day, uh, the more successful you are. It doesn't, I, I think we, we know this inherently that you could have a billion dollars, you could have a perfect job on paper, but if you're grinding it out and not enjoying it day to day, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? So joy is the North Star. Feeling good is a North Star. That is really how I would measure. How is life going? Am I actually enjoying my life? So a lot of different things have happened to get here. But I would say there's three words and they all begin with the letter A. We're starting from the top today of what I leaned into to get to a place of happiness. So the first one is alignment. Dear God, what does that mean? Let me put it this way. You know, you're not aligned. If every day is a slog, every day is tough, is challenging, is you feel like you're trying to like make your way through and you're not, uh, it's not feeling easy. It's not feeling effortless. It's not feeling like going with the flow. Now, of course, every day there's moments where you're like, oh, God, something crazy happened, but we want to get back on the path of alignment, feeling good. So when I was kind of in that stuck place, what really helped me is tiny daily practices that would help me just get back to that aligned space of just like, hmm, I think I'm on the right path. I think things are going good. Now, everyone has different things that'll work for them. A couple of things that are out there that I'm sure you've heard of, you might be doing them already, but they do really do work is the first thing I do is I use the Calm, C-A-L-M, -C Calm app, the free version, and intend to do a 10-minute meditation every day. Ideally in the morning, when you first wake up, uh, before things get hectic, just give yourself that 10 minutes of time. I also believe so strongly in the power of movement. Again, this is the beginner level, tiny daily practices. But to me, going for a walk around the block in my ambitious times, 10,000 steps in my six month pregnant times, like 20 minutes, <laughs> but having those, um, moments of movement, even putting it on your calendar, it is amazing to see how the brain gets affected too. There's the graphics on, uh, if you Google, I think on LinkedIn, there was this science.com uh, image that I saw that just showed your brain being so activated when you go for a walk versus just sitting at your desk. So whenever I'm feeling totally out of alignment, totally stressed with it, emails or requests and stuff like that, as much as I want to sit there and figure it out, go for that walk, go for a quick walk, put your head outside. Even if you're in a cold place, like I am totally wakes you up. And something else that's really helped me is spiritual scrolling. <laughs> and so what I mean by that is I am definitely somebody that gets hooked into comparison, compare and despair mode. And like the highlight reels of everyone, I'm like, God, I could be doing so many more things. Ugh. So I'm a part of a couple of communities that are very uplifting, like virtual communities I pay for the one I'm thinking of right now, it's called the support system by Sherry Salata and people post in their uplifting things, things that are going on in their life. And it's a very supportive place to be. So I really intend to, if I'm feeling that itch to just start scrolling, you know, I love to go over there and just, um, kind of scroll there and at least have a little bit of the positive optimism. I would also say sometimes I don't just want Oh, it's positive content. I love watching stand up comedians, like any of them. I, like, I'll just go on YouTube and YouTube shorts and just find different stand up comedians who just say whatever they want to say. And it's just 
offensive and liberating. Um, I'm really trying to get to a place where I can see the humor in it and not get offended by it because everyone's making fun of anything. But I just find that stand-up comedy people, I, I love their freedom and sense of just like, I'm going to go there. I'm going to say this thing. So alignment, getting a few tiny daily practices to help you build that first pillar of an awesome life. The second thing is appreciation. So having an appreciative mindset is a beautiful thing to cultivate. So when I was in the early days, kind of like in that sadness, in that slog, it's kind of hard to appreciate anything. You're kind of like, yeah, I have a job. Yeah, I have a place to live. Ugh. But what I was doing, I used my notes app on my phone and really just whenever I was in a little bit of a better mood, I would just write down a few things that I actually really do appreciate. Um, why is a kale salad coming to my mind? But like, you have a really good kale salad. <laughs> Maybe it's a hot dog. I don't know. But just writing down a few things that spark a little joy, spark a little of like a little bit of, wow, I'm so appreciative I have this. Like, I am amazed even in this moment that I have an office space. The way I grew up, I grew up um, in a small house, sharing like a room with my three sisters. There was no space, <laughs> no space at all. My office was my bed and my teddy books, I called them. I would sleep with my like homework under my pillow. Like it was a very uh, busy existence. And now, now looking at me now, it's like she has a wonderful microphone, a standing desk, lights, camera, action. It's amazing. Like my office space is like bigger than my bedroom. <laughs> it is. And even, um, you know, a few years ago, living in Toronto, living uh, the condo lifestyle. And really, um, when I started to work from home, just having to carve out that corner uh, to work out of. And honestly, it was all good. I, I really made the best of it. And um, appreciated where I was at the time. I could have appreciated it more, let's be honest, but I embraced it. And so, but dreamed of something more. And now I have this office space and it's a true blessing. Now, the next level would be to have an office space with some decor, with some uh, aesthetic. <laughs> it's There's no aesthetic. There's a few plants. There's some white walls. So if there's anyone with a tiny micro course out there on interior design for the office, please feel free to send it my way. Um, so appreciation. Nowadays, um, I find that after meditation, appreciation is the next beautiful step. So just coming up with a couple of different ideas of what you appreciate about that day, um, writing those down. I still use my, my notes app on, on my uh, iPhone and something else that I, I like the kind of flip the script on is sometimes we really do get to do amazing things in our work, in our lives, but it just feels like way too much. So I try to flip that of like, I don't have to do that. I get to do that. I am blessed to get to do this. And you know what, if you don't, can't feel that at all, so I'm going to do a little reevaluation, a little bit of how to say no. That'll be a future episode as well. Um, a little bit of saying no to some things to give yourself a little bit more space and a little more balance. But appreciation is an absolutely beautiful thing to do to really increase that awesome life. And the third pillar I would say of an awesome life is really having an abundance mindset. I sound like a spiritual healer but I'm serious. So abundance, basically, like if you Google it, it basically just means there's a lot of something, but I think we equate abundance with money or prosperity a lot of the time. Um, but it's interesting because as I'm recording this out in the world, layoffs are high, interest rates are rising, fear is in the air. And yet there's a lot of abundance. 
we live in one of the most abundant times ever. Uh, I'm amazed sometimes, you know, I was going through a real Uber Eats phase. Like the fact that you can just press a button, a couple of buttons and get food delivered to your door. And a lot of times there's amazing deals. <laughs> it's an amazing thing. So I have been really, um, whenever I start to feel that pinch of scarcity or, oh, I got to make more money or, oh, I, the news really kind of gets into my psyche and, and takes me down. It's like, how can we get back into believing it's possible? I watch a lot of different videos from people to remind me of this abundance because I forget. Um, and even um, teaching is also a great way to remind yourself of that as well, because I'm somebody that makes online courses. And it's really interesting because a lot of people feel that, oh, my course can't exist because there's already courses that exist that teach on this topic. But let's be honest, there's 8 billion people in the world. You need a tiny, tiny, tiny slice of those people to want to learn from you to create a beautifully abundant business. So I just try to remind myself too of the ways that I have abundance in my life and really want to cultivate more of that. Um, and also sometimes it's fun to think, sometimes we just want to, oh, like win the lottery or just have just have a windfall come into your life. I like the analogy that you don't want that to happen with food. Like imagine all the food you could ever eat was just given to you at one time. Yikes. You want it to flow in naturally. <laughs> <laughs> flow in naturally, flow out naturally. So let's just call in the abundance that we need to fulfill the dream of our life right now and then pass it on and be a generous soul. Uh, it's also interesting being in the online course world, just the amount of abundance that's possible. I know three people who have nine figure businesses, nine, like over a hundred million dollars sold in courses what? Um, and this, this is the coolest possible business being in the online course industry. It, it's, it is, um, it's just amazing. Um, so whenever there's moments where I just feel like that pang of jealousy or how do you get there? I always remember jealousy is amplified awareness of what you want and what's possible for you. You just need to get into alignment, get back on your path. I don't want to, it's if I made a hundred million dollars tomorrow that would be wildly unnatural, I think. Let's start, let's grow naturally versus just uh, something that's completely wild and, and wouldn't be natural. I actually said that to my students today. I have an online course called the Micro Course and we were doing a live Q&A. And I'm, one of my things about me as a teacher is transparency. I'm very honest with all my students on how many people are in my course or um, anything they ask, I'll give you the answer. You know, I, I really want to just be transparent and share. And I was talking about how I, what, something that is canceled. Well, perfection is, I said, perfectionism is definitely canceled when it comes to creating your course, but also take the pressure off when it comes to your creative endeavors. I joked with my students that my micro course had been live for like less than 60 days. And the pressure I put on myself was in an ideal world, I would have a thousand students and all a thousand students would have created and launched their courses and have become multi-millionaires themselves. What? <laughs> like, and then if it, it's funny to think about like what your actual pressure and like what you think you want and then kind of reflecting on that's wild because I'm a team of one person right now. And if I had a thousand people come into my inbox and there was customer service questions, there'd be no, a lot, it would be a hot mess. So I am excited to see who I would need to become in order to support a thousand students. Um, but, uh, not today. Okay. And also just, uh, enjoying the journey as well. Like just, that's so cool to think about, you know, if you have a thousand students, 
who would you have to become? 10,000 students, 100,000 students, and also reverse engineering how it would feel. Like if I had 100,000 students take my course, it feels like elation. It feels like appreciation. It feels like I need another shun, so it's a wrap. Um, it just feels joyful. And so it, I believe in order to really achieve those goals, you got to kind of like live at the level, the vibration of that 100,000. So anyway, not going to go too uh, spiritual on y'all right now, <laughs> but abundance mindset. Everything we want is available to us on planet Earth. We're going to make it. So those are my three different pillars of an awesome life right now. Those are mine, but I'd be very curious to know what your pillars of an awesome life are. So mine were alignment, appreciation, and the abundance mindset. Um, and on this podcast, I really want to be a place to encourage you to build your awesome life together alongside me. They're, they're totally different, but who knows, maybe there's ways we can collaborate, support each other, and just live in that place of enjoying your life. So I'm going to wind down the show for now. Thank you so much for listening. Highly recommend you check out the notes, uh, sign up for my email list where I will be sharing more tips to help you create a life that's an extension of who you are, but get paid for it with online courses uh, or join my, my online course. And uh, let's get you some, making some money from your course. And also the joy of teaching is a blast. And also as this is a new podcast, that would be so wonderful if you would be open to rating and reviewing the podcast or sharing it on social media if you like it, if it's good. So thank you so much for listening to this first episode. I wish you a beautiful day and an no, thank you so much for listening and I wish you an awesome day.